Many oscillators attempt to measure how much buying or selling power lies behind the price, move and the chart. Many do this by means of the signature indicators uh, that measure momentum. Some same well-known trading indicators that works uh, this way include the realistic trend indicator, the forex index or the money flow index, but uh, this is another indicator known as elder ray index. That uh, attempts uh, to evaluate both bullish and bearish forces in the market by using two separate measure, uh, one for each type of uh, directional pressure. The techniques uh, was developed by the Alexander Elder, and uh, the two indicators involved are carried both power and bearish powers. The Elder Ray index is quite easy to use once you understand how to read the various components. With the indicator you can identify the strength of the bulls and the bears and predict the most likely directions price may move next. At its core it's the trend followed indicator that also tells you when to open and close your trades. Uh, Elder Ray Index consists of three indicators, an exponential moving average EMA, the bull power indicator, the beer power indicator EMA is often plowed uh, on the price chart as the separate component of the index, but it is also used to calculating the bull power and the bull power per components of the index. By address for the EMA is a 30 period exponential moving average of the The bull power is calculated by subtracting the EMA from the day's height. The beer power shows the relation between the day's lows and the EMA. It uh, checks it checks the positions of the day's lows when compared with the EMA and the measure between distance between them. And to get beer power, you subtract the EMA from the low price than the trading day. As with the bull power, the beer power is plotted as histogram in the separate indicator box. The beer's power indicator attempts to measure the market's attempt line for a lower price. The bull price indicator attempts to measure the market's uh, appetite for highest price. Both do this by making comparison to a third measure to see where the consumers of value lies within the market, and typically a certain period exponential moving average EMA is used of these baselines of the value. The morning average shows us the average consensus of the value of the window of observation over which the price are averaged if bulls gains the upper hand price rise and the slopes of the moving average will be upward. If bears against the upper bank's uh, price falls uh, and the slope of the moving average will be uh, downward. In this way, Elder Ray strategy combines elements of the both trend following indicators and oscillators. The exponential moving average is the trend following measure. This operates uh, as the kind of the filter allowed only trades in the directions of the trend. The bull's power and the beer's power elements uh, are oscillators using uh, all three together should in theory enable you to decide where bulls or beers are stronger and then positions uh, yourself with the domination force uh, in the market accordingly. Now let's talk about the psychology behind the Elder Ray Index. The price of the security is the reflection to the market uh, participants sentiments, especially fear and uh, greed, which is what the Elder Ray Index uh, tries to show. The indicator assumes that during the up move, buyers get more greed and keep buying closer to the highs, while during the down move, the bears getting more afraid of the lower the price falls and keep uh, selling closer to the lows. Now, by comparing the day's highest price uh, to the and period EMA, the bull's power indicator shows the ability of uh, bullish to put the push price higher than the average. The average, hence, uh, when the bulls are dominating, the bull's uh, power indicator uh, rises and uh, the bulls uh, are losing momentum. The bull power indicator fails and can fall below the, the zero line. On the other hand, the beer power indicator shows the ability of the bearish to push price below the moving average, 
when the beers weak, uh, are weaker, the gap between the days uh, low and the EMA wide, and when they are stronger, the gap uh, narrows and uh, can even become positive if the bulls have completely taken control. By measuring the distance from the high price uh, of the day to the EMA bull power uh, represents uh, the capability of the bulls uh, to push price above the average uh, consensus of value. Bull power rises uh, when the bulls are stronger and falls when they are weaker, even becoming negative when they are very weak. Beer power, by contrast, is the capability of the beers to push price below the moving average distance between the low and the EMA, which widen when the beers are weaker and narrow when they are stronger, given this figure. Remember, beer power is typically negative, so if it turns positive, the bull have taken complete control. So, how to trade with Elder Ray Index to get the full picture of the market situations? You need to read all three components simultaneously. For the EMA, you consider the slope as it can show the direction of the trend. Since the bull power and the beer power are plotted as histogram, you consider the positions of the histograms relatively to zero line and whatever they are indicating or reducing. Another aspect of the consider about the bull and the beer power histogram is the divergence from the price. The divergence is said to occur when the histogram and the price spikes are not making similar heights or lows. There is a bullish divergence if the beer power histogram is making a higher loss when the price is making lower loss. A uh, beer divergence occurs when the bull power makes a lower height, so when the price makes a higher height. Uh, we have buying opportunity when the EMA is sloping uh, upwards, indication that the trend is up. The beer power histogram is negative below the zero line, but rising. The bull power histogram is rising, getting more bullish accordingly. The setup uh, considered uh, stronger if there is a bullish divergence in the beer power histogram. Uh, that is, uh, if the beer power makes the higher lows, uh, when the price makes the lower lows, you have a better buy setup. Uh, here are several examples of the buy signals. Uh, we have seven opportunity when the EMA is open downwards, uh, indicating a possible downtrend. Uh, the bull power histogram is positive above the zero line, but following the beer power histogram is falling, getting more bearish uh, furthermore. If there is a bearish divergence uh, in the bull power histogram, the sell setup is very strong. It, in, order, in other words, if the bull power makes a lower height when the price is making the highest flight heights, there is already strong sell setup. Here's other example of the sell signals. As you can see, the trading tools for the elder ray systems are fairly simple. The slope of the EMA suggests the directions of the trend and uh, you are only allowed to trade the same directions as the trend. Bull powers and the beer powers help you to identify entry and exit points. Uh, bullish divergence and the bearish powers should identify the optimal opportunities for the long entry. Furthermore, uh, the existing signals is given uh, when the price reaches the new high but the bull's uh, power falls to reach a new peak. This is the sign uh, that the influence uh, of the bull's uh, is uh, starting uh, to diminish uh, the market. Bearish divergence is uh, bulls power should identify optimal opportunities for a short entry. The exit signals is given when the price uh, reach the new low, but bearish power fails to reach a new low. This is the sign uh, that the influence of the bears is starting to decrease uh, in the market, while the combination of the bullish power, bearish powers, and the EMA refers uh, on useful information about the market. Elder Ray Systems is best to use uh, with uh, other forms of the technical analysis. So draw your support and resistance levels, final areas of supply and demand and try to find signals around those areas. This will allow you to gain a deeper understanding of what is happening in the market by considering uh, wider aspects of the data. Now, regarding the time frames, uh, although the Elder Systems can be used uh, on any time frame, I strongly advise you to use it a uh, daily time frame as a swine trading strategy. With most large uh, institutional using uh, the daily close uh, prices to analysis the market, daily beers uh, also become a lot more significant than they any other time frames. From the back setting, uh, the daily chart is the most reliable time frame from 
these systems for stocks in particular by using this strategy the D1 tackling you will get less market noise and this is uh, perhaps the biggest uh, benefit uh, of the day time frame one of the main illuminations of the elder ray index is that the EMA uh, components can lag uh, the price actions by a uh, lot of things it is uh, derived uh, from his horizontal price data so it doesn't uh, respond quickly to a sudden change uh, in the price directions by the time the indicator shows uh, a signal of the price must have moved significantly making it difficult uh, to find a good uh, spot for your stop loss order another limitation is that the bull on beer power components can't uh, with swap quite a lot as they oscillate around the zero line. That's why it is, uh, it is better to wait for the divergence signals or confirm the with the EMA before making any trades. As always, if you want something new and fun value, leave us a like to show support. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new video. Until next time.